Hello and welcome to the first ever draw of the Challenge Trophy. This is new, it is exciting and of course it's all part of the ANZ Championship makeover for 2015 and we've called on an Aussie netball legend to help conduct the draw today. Kath Cox, great to have you on board. Thanks for having me, Kel. Now, recently retired, you've been twiddling your thumbs at home over summer and we're days out from a brand new season. How's that making you feel? Not too badly. I'm not missing it, actually. I'm certainly not missing the training and the pre-season and everything else. I do miss the girls a bit, so I'm just looking forward to the season starting and watching some. And, of course, we benefit because you're part of our commentary team this year, which is great news. And uh, knowing you, you've been swatting up hard, doing all your preparation. <laughs> Can your Melbourne Vixens go back-to-back? -back? No team's done it in the ANZ Champs yet, or do you think it'll be another team in 2015? I'd be wary of Fever this year. I think they've got a great side and they've got a great new coach over there, but I do think the Vixens are capable of pulling it off. They've kept the majority of their winning side from last year. OK, let's get straight into this draw. It's pretty simple. Ten teams in the ANZ Champs, of course. Five from New Zealand, five from Australia. Kath Cox is going to take us through this draw. And effectively, last team standing is the inaugural holder of the Challenge Trophy. Drum roll, Coxie, it's all yours. Take it away. Here we go, Kel. The first team eliminated is... Dun, dun, dun. The Northern Mystics. OK, so we won't be starting in Auckland for the Challenge Trophy. So maybe after a disastrous year last year, Coxie, this year might be their year. Stranger things have happened, but no, it's going to be an Aussie team. OK. And the second team <laughs> eliminated is the Central Pulse. And two down, eight to go. You're doing a great job. Thank you very much. <laughs> and the third team eliminated is... Ah, the Waikato Bay of Plenty Magic. Is that three New Zealand that teams? That is three so This New isn't Zealanders. rigged, is it? <laughs> so three knocked out. Here we go. The next one out is... Oh, no, the <laughs> Melbourne Vixens. They're going to kill me. So we will not be starting in Melbourne. We're at the halfway mark yet. Four down. Here we go. The next one out is the Adelaide Thunderbirds. Star goal shooter Carla Borrego has also become a naturalised Aussie, so she'll be keen to push her case for the diamond selection. That is another story to watch in 2015. Borrego still with the Adelaide Thunderbirds. Mm, and talk about timing right before the season starts. So a, a really good line up there. I'd be worried about them. And she could be playing for the Aussies come the World Cup. She could. I'm glad I retired again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next one out is the Queensland Firebirds. And there is a new name that we need to look out for, Beryl Friday. Write it down, a shooting young gun from North Queensland and she could be teaming up with Romelda Aitken. What a great name, Beryl Friday. <laughs> That's a great name. I'm pretty sure we won't forget that one. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, we've got a few to go. The next one out is, oh, the New South Wales Swifts. Well, you would have to say the Swifts will be up in that top four. Absolutely. Dueling in com a combination with Shani Layton, definitely both of them are super fit at the moment. All right. Keep going. And the next one out is the tactics. How many have we got left? I think. Let me get right in here. Come oh, on, there's two you're left. Nepal, there's You've got two a long arm. It's a big barrel kill. <laughs> and the next one out, Southern Steel. Southern Steel is the ninth and uh, team eliminated. Drum roll. One ball left. The inaugural holders of the Challenge Trophy. It's in here somewhere. We all know, but I can't find the ball. Here we go. It is. The West Coast Fever. The West Coast Fever. That is where the Challenge Trophy will start. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Fever and their season ahead? I think, firstly, they've got a great coach in there in Stacey Rosman. She's super encouraging. Uh, the girls are feeling a lot of confidence in the moment, playing really well. But for this trophy to start there, I think it's going to be tough to get away. It's Perth. It's a long road trip. And they have some amazing crowds over there. It's going to be tough to get it back. But we will have to wait until round two for uh, the Challenge Trophy to be enacted, in a sense, because the Fever play the Mystics in round two. It's their first home game. And they'll take on uh, the Fever in Perth, which is always a tough task, being the first team to have the opportunity, I guess, to defend the Challenge Trophy. West Coast will be looking for a parochial crowd to get behind them and ensure that it stays in the West. Fever and Mystics round two. What are your thoughts on that matchup? Yeah, um, both sides, a great game there. Um, lots of height in that end, lots of experience, lots of internationals in that side, but it's going to be tough for the Northern Mystics to travel from New Zealand all the way to Perth and try and get this trophy. You make a good barrel girl, it could be your next career move. Ooh. A lot of exciting things happening and new initiatives in the ANZ Champs for this year. And, of course, it all kicks off in a few days' time to Coxie and, uh, of course, on behalf of myself as well. We will catch you throughout the season, the 2015 ANZ Championships.